Hello everyone, this is Aida Kolami from Agrimed Soft Research Company and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to select print area in your Excel worksheet. So, uh, say you want to, uh, you, have a, you have a sheet to print and so of course there is a large uh, large large rows and columns and there's a huge data set okay and you don't want it all to be printed so what you should do is to select your, your print area so you should select the exact part of that sheet to be printed so what you should do to uh, to have this area is to go to page layout tab in excel which i'm already in and then in page setup segment, go to print area and select set print area. But before that, you should select your print area and then so, uh, set print area. Okay. So I want to select, let's say, this part. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a margin here. There's a dotted line here. When you, when you once select your print area, these margins appear on your worksheet. So uh, maybe you should test it out and see what I'm saying. And then, um, so now let's do it. And, and then I explained this dotted line uh, for you. So I go for set print area and you can see, I don't know, <laughs> again, I don't know if you can see or not, but this margin for me changed its place. So it moved. What it means is that up to this margin and you can see also my print area here okay it's it's um it's shown with a little bold um line so the line that it's separating this area for me is a little darker than uh, excel borders excel's borders so this is my print area and this margin shows me that up to this a uh, column it's printed on one page and after this margin is printed in the second page okay so if you, i go to file and print i can see here that up to that line is on one page and after that line is on the second page okay so now another thing that I can do is to actually take this chart for me. So I want to add this to my print area. So what I will do is to select this chart, go to print area and go to add to print area. So now actually you can see that this margin is uh, placed um, somewhere um, in the middle of my uh, chart, which I don't want to. I want it to be printed in one page. So I will make it smaller and then again go for... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I don't do that because I have already... Uh, that part in my print area and if I click here I go to uh, clear so uh, I cannot select this other part again and go for adding so I don't do that and go to file and print and here you can see I have one and two which was the last selection and then here I have my whole chart in the page three and page four maybe is blank. Yeah, it's blank, which you can remove it in the end. So I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video and bye.